up, folks? Welcome back to another awesome Mailbox Monday. It's time for Mailbox Monday! Getting your packages, oh yeah! Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, back to Monday. Mailbox Monday! So, huh? Welcome to Mailbox Party, and by the way, congratulations. How was, who won the Super Bowl? Uh, the broken records out there, like stay positive <laughs> and keeping you on the inside fact, all that, all that stuff that you hear over and over. Oh, again. I'm not a broken record. Oh, I mean the Super Bowl. Yeah, who won the Super well, Bowl? I thought it was actually the bowl of soup. Well, folks, let's get to the package. Right, Tommy, how are you gonna open that up? I have five reasons. I have four reasons I can get it open. Four ways? <laughs> four ways to get it open. Oh my gosh, man. You could open four packages at once. I'd buy that for a dollar. <laughs> a gift for you. Hi, Tommy. Happy mailbox. Here, hold on. Let me actually show this to the camera. By the way, Tommy. There's multiple letters, actually. I want to I wanna show this to the camera. So right. they can read along with me. It says... A gift for you. Hi, Tommy. Happy Mailbox Boonschkonklian. The banana You're is... You're saying that on purpose, aren't you? No, it's really actually right there, as you folks can plainly see. I mean, it's actually spelled correctly. Um, hi, Tommy. Happy Mailbox Boonschkonklian. The banana is for Tommy, which apparently, Tommy, you've placed the banana down on the floor. That's a stress relief banana, so anytime you're feeling stressed, you squeeze the heck out of like it. like it's you. Ah, uh, that hurt. Um, so yeah, the bananas for Tommy. Everything else is for Hamza's kids. It all, it's the same note from last week. Sorry, Mickey, Hamza, everyone else. I forgot. I'll try to buy you guys gifts next time. From our friend and major Tommy head, Eric Armin. We got a comment from him in the uh, comment. comment section last week on the video saying that there is was there another package coming. That that, they're all the same. Oh, they're all the same? Yeah, what they all say, hi, Tommy, happy mailbox, when Sean Clean, the banana is for Tommy, everything else is for Hamza's kids, sorry, Hamza, Mickey, anyone else, I forgot, I'll try to buy you guys gifts next time. And, uh, then the note again, and actually, no, this isn't, this isn't. And it's a, po it's Pokemon cards. Oh, snap, check, 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 check it out, check, 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 check it out now. Pokemon, you teach me, and I'll teach, teach you. you. Pokemon, Pikachu! Hey, remember. Pikachu! And Tommy, don't forget to tell people to check out your video that you put up a few months ago. Maybe two months ago, you made a video about Pokemon. Oh, yes, I check out that video. It's Pokemon Lives Matter. Pokemon Lives Matter by this gentleman right here. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, so look at this. This isn't just regular cards, man. These have like the cool shiny shimmering effect to them. Check it out, man. Look look how cool those cards look. You know, when I was a kid, the coolest thing we had uh, was like pogs or something like that. You know, and it, they weren't even that cool, but that's the only thing I can think of. I guess you have magic cards. That's know? what happens when you take magic. Magic never dies. That's what happens when you take Japanese culture and put it into American culture. It It's awesome. Everything Japanese is awesome. Hey, that's kind of stereotyping. That's not stereotyping. Well, we got a little visit from DC Universe. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, no, the kids not are both Marvel. Like this. The Marvel. kids both have uh, Pokemon card collections. They both have these huge binders with like a million sleeves to keep their cards. So that's awesome, man. Thank you so much. They are going to be thrilled. And, and my daughter was thrilled with last week's gift. Um, so thank you for that, too. She was actually... When I gave it to her, she said she was more happy at the fact that somebody thought of her in Tommy's fan base. Yeah. Um, so, wow, package. check it out. So this is, did you say it says Marvel somewhere? It's, uh, Marvel. Oh, that's what, Captain America. I didn't even know. Captain America. Yeah, Captain Civil America. War. You got this guy. Who's his name? Uh, no, Ant-Man. 
We got Ant Man. We got uh, Brzlondi. Schlumberdine uh, Schlumberdone. Uh, Lumbundini. And uh, let's see. Uh, yo, Butchklowski. Chill. 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 Watch your nose. Okay, also we have uh, this girl right here, Fripple and Fragile Toad. Uh, Balumpo. Oh my god. And. Whoa, dude. This guy's radical. This guy's totally radical. That's probably the most radical thing I've ever seen in my life, actually. Did you ever see this, Tommy? This movie? Um, no, I have not seen Do you know the name of that character right there? No. I think it's, um, like Bizarro Batman. No, that's not bizarre. People will probably know in the comments. Oh, okay. Yeah, y'all in the comments, leave us the comment and tell us who is this dude? Like, that looks so cool. And, um, oh, it says on the back, who would have guessed? Black Panther. If you were thinking Black Panther, you are correct. If you were thinking any of those fictional words for any of these other characters, you are correct. Right, Tommy? You're always wrong, Hamza. <laughs> oh, man, I'm always wrong. That sucks. I'm gonna try opening this other package. Ah, you said you had four ways to open. So you have four knives right there and you're trying to use your bare fingers? There you go. There you go, Thomas. Tom. Break the box! I meant Tommy. I meant I meant Tommy. Also Tandy Bellotto. Ooh. Not always just Tommy, but also Tandy Bellotto. Now did this come today in the mailbox yes, as well? It came in the mailbox too. Wowzer. It says Wowzer. Dot com. Check it out. They have uh, apparently sports stuff. Huge selection of BCW and Ultra Pro supplies. Supplies for trading cards, memorabilia, comics, and coins. So yeah, check it out. And Yu-Gi-Oh. We got some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Dang, Yu-Gi-Oh. That's what my little brother used to play. And uh, he recently donated the Yu-Gi-Oh cards that he had to my kids. So they have a few like old used ones that are all bent up and like got stuff from couch cushions for years and stuff like that. But now they're gonna have some fresh, some fresh cards. This is gonna be fresh to death. You know what that means? It's yeah. like Fresh Prince of Bel-Air's breath. Our fresh breast of death? Fresh, fresh breast of death. <laughs> okay, just keep, keep going with the pack. Sorry, this glove kind of just has something about it. It kind of you know, seeps through my veins, you know, the psychotic break of... It's like, you remember that character they created for that movie series, Nightmare on Elm Street? But there was actually a guy one time that bought me Nightmare on Elm Street. I still haven't watched it. It's a DVD, though, and I have it right next to my couch at the house. So one of these days, I'm going to watch that movie, and then I'm going to do a, a movie review of it, but not an uh-oh movie review, a, uh... Oh, uh, movie review. And as it says in the wall, uh oh, movie review and food. Oh, by the way, folks, stay tuned, folks. Boo Dude Review Crew is coming out soon. So sit down, relax, grab yourself something to eat because Food Dude Review Crew is coming back to the ring to debut in their main review match, Ole's Guacamole. And we'll be doing another review at some point at Ole's Guacamole and many other restaurants' reviews, just to let you know that. <laughs> so, uh, here we have. Yu-Gi-Oh! Dark Legion starter deck. That's cool, man. I didn't know. I guess kind of like uh, Magic cards, they have different kinds of decks you can do because this one's Saber Force. Saber Force and Dark Legion. So, Tommy, I really appreciate you putting out there on Mailbox Monday that people could send gifts for for me or my kids or, or for, no problem. you know, wh whoever because... Uh, you know, my kids are really excited about this, but nobody should feel obligated to send any kind of presents or anything. We're always happy with letters, postcards, uh, maybe a thumbprint of a serial killer so we could, like, do a heinous crime and stick their thumbprint on the evidence so that way they would get in trouble. And they already have a serial killer record, right? Like if you did something evil with this glove and then you could take that thumbprint and stick it all over the glove. You mean like this? And then they'd come to that man's cell and be like, Sir, come out of your jail cell for a second. Have you ever seen this Freddy Krueger glove before? And he'd be like, I've never seen that before in my life. And then they'd be like, that's what they all say. We've got the evidence all over the glove. Or what was that thing you ate off the rug right before we started? If you watch the video and you don't send anything, we still appreciate the heck out of you. Every view counts, you know what? Every view counts. YouTubers' Your lives view matters. YouTube viewers' lives matter. 
And also, shout out to Catch33, the podcast with Tommy C, Colossal's Crazy, and Dead on Dave. And shout out to DJ Jazzy Jack, still doing his thing. I recently, my camera got fried, and I was wanting to know if you... I normally wouldn't ask you guys is if you would Was help. it part of a Food Dude Review Crew where we deep fried the camera to try to... No, it just... I had an accident with it. I was wondering if you guys would mind uh, donating to my... Uh, what is it? It's a, uh... Is it a GoFundMe? No, it's, uh, my PayPal. Donating to my PayPal to help me try to, uh, get me a new camera. Yeah, and you'll notice this is, this is just the old Sony point-and-shoot, uh, camera that we're using right now. Yeah. The other one was notorious for having the fisheye lens, which yeah. caught, like, a super wide angle of vision. It's perfect for outdoor vlogs. Tommy loved the camera like a child. He actually loved, when it when it grew up he was gonna send it to college and uh, he used to actually he he'd say son I love you more than my life itself and then one day that son that camera it actually was crushed and you always think that your your son is gonna outlive you but his camera died before he died well I actually just fell in the field and I forgot it was there. And I don't think you knew it fell, did you? No, I didn't know it fell. Apparently when he was walking through a dark field at night. If you leave a note with this glove on his hand, who knows what he was doing? If you guys if you guys do donate, um, leave a note with your donations and we will give every single person we're trying to get to four hundred dollars uh, to raise money to get the camera. So what'd you say you're gonna give every single person? I'm gonna give I'm gonna give we're gonna everybody a shout out. We're gonna put you in the description below and even in the edited video we're gonna put your name in a list of people that donated for the camera and then you guys will be a part of the people's champions camera. That'll be your camera that you guys donated for if you guys donate if you want. So my PayPal is right up in the top of my channel where you can donate there. To help me see if we can raise up to get the uh, Canon Mini X. Be a pal, a PayPal. But as always, folks, thank you so much. But wait a minute, hold on. So, Hans, grab the camera real quick. I need to check on something. Um. Okay. Please. Yes, sir. Aye, aye, Captain Insano. I just need to check on something real quick. What's up, man? Dude, what the heck? I was about to say you're not supposed to open that drawer. I haven't opened this drawer since last week when, when. That incident happened on Mailbox Monday? What'd you do with it, man? Did Dude, I didn't me? I didn't touch it. You didn't I, I couldn't even it? remember what drawer it was. I, on you. I don't even think it wasn't even me last week that was here for Mailbox Monday. Yes, you it, were. It wasn't even Where me. Where is it, Hamza? It wasn't even me. You know that thing creeps the crap out of me. Where is it, Hamza? Check the drawer again, man. Just check the drawer again. There's nothing in there, Hamza. Okay, now do do a jumping jack. You're hilarious. No, for real, man. You must have moved it. I didn't move it, dude. I did not move it, okay? I, w I definitely, personally, I would have never, ever, if it was the last thing I did, open that drawer. We'll get down to this. We'll figure this out, Hamza. You understand this? We'll figure this out. Spotlight. <sighs> You're on candy camera. You're on... The bright light is coming towards you, folks. Don't walk towards the light. <laughs> I didn't know if there was any more song to that. Uh, so folks, we're gonna end this mailbox Monday off. So wait a minute, seriously, dude, where is the uh, the trapped? What did I call it last week? A bat out of hell? I'm got yeah. I don't know where it is, dude. Honestly, I really, it's weird. You, I, you can't keep track of your stuff. You just can't keep track of your stuff. I can keep track of my stuff just fine. Oh, it's I'm not, not like talking it, about that stuff. It's not like. It grew its I'm grew talking about the stuff you walked off, you know that. I heard that people were thinking about not voting for you because your health you're really old actually. Oh, huh, Secretly huh. I heard they released your uh, your birth date. Actually you were not born in America, you were born in Kenya and you're actually 79 years old. Tommy NC Tritan was actually originally born in Kenya. <coughs> 29,000 BC. I'm actually an American, so here's the thing, I can run for president when I get older, so Tommy NC 2010 for president, and I'm going to make America shiny again. And we also need some thumbprints so we can clear him of all his crimes. I've never done a single crime. Exactly, that's what we keep saying. Except for reminding me to put my seatbelt on. Is, is reminding people to put their seatbelt on a crime? A tad bit. Okay, well, so what do you think about 
Let's do a blues version of Mailbox Punch Gun Clan, alright? No, it's Mailbox Monday, get it right. Mailbox Monday, I got the blues, it's Mailbox Monday. Oh, it's Mailbox Monday, my blues in my head gonna get it on Monday. I put my suit on when I walk down. I don't like it, Lonzo, so let's just stick with the regular. You ready? One. That Fitch TV is gone. So you know what? Bam! You know what? Ryan Holmes, if he will, he might be editing a few of the videos. So check out Ryan Holmes' channel. Play that clip, that wonderful clip. It's Ryan, Ryan Holmes TV, TV with another, with another video, video for you. For you. Oh.